This right here is a DD15 engine and it was installed on a 2019 Cascadia. The problem that this DD15 engine had is then that it ran no more. It, it just stopped for no reason as the driver say. But of course there was a big reason. The big reason is then we have a big crack which shows the connecting rod. This is the connecting rod and this is the engine block and the engine block is completely cracked and this happened because the engine was going on high RPMs. See the crack is so large then you can see the whole block over here then is cracked on top. See all these, all those are cracks then happen to this engine. And it goes across the engine block, continuing right here. See, it continues right here, you see the crack right here, all the way to the other side of the engine block. Which means then this engine was completely abused. This engine is completely destroyed, it cannot be reused, it cannot be repaired. There is nothing we can do to this engine. I'm not sure if it goes to the other side completely, yeah, it goes all the way to the other side. But uh, we, there is nothing because basically the engine is divided in two pieces. Uh, so the owner of the truck decided to buy a different engine and just install it to, the, to this truck and the truck is gone now. But here we have a broken engine. So these are the consequences when you are not realizing the speed and you um, when you are going when you're going downhill. So it's very hard to stop a truck when you are going downhill. And the easiest way to stop a truck is by hitting the brakes. But heavy duty trucks, they carry a lot of weight. And this weight is really hard to control with the brakes. That's the reason why you use engine brake. These engines are equipped with engine brakes, but there is not enough braking power from the engine to stop the truck when you are going on high speeds. So you have to lower the speed of the truck before going downhill. And that is when the engine brake is going to apply the maximum performance. But if you are going 50, 60 miles per hour with a heavy load, the engine brake is not going to do anything. And then you apply the brakes, it's not going to do anything anyway because there is a large amount of weight on your back. Now, this person right here, the one that was driving this truck with this engine, he decided just to apply any gear because he couldn't stop the truck. And this happened. The engine got completely destroyed. Uh, and this, sadly, this, this truck only had 400,000 miles. It was a 2019. Uh, a truck and uh, the engine well I mean like okay, it's a brand new engine basically and, uh, and now it's completely destroyed so if you are new in the uh, trucking business it is important that you pay attention to the speed uh, I see many drivers and um, come here and they ask for 80 90 miles per hour that's that's too much I mean like, if you are going on a car at 90 miles per hour and you get to stop you are not going to be able to, to, to stop immediately. The car is going to drag for a bit. And a truck that is carrying 80,000 pounds, it's going to take a while to stop. And, and the, by the time you stop, it's going to be completely destroyed. But uh, that is the issue that we're getting right now. And keep in mind that this truck right here had an automatic transmission. It didn't have a manual transmission. What's with an automatic transmission when this happened? So it is, uh, it is good to say that it doesn't matter what transmission you have, if you have a manual or aromatic, so you're still gonna destroy your engine. So uh, it, the best way to prevent problems like this, it is just to prevent you, yourself, of going on high speed when you're going downhill. I mean, if you see a sign and there is a downhill ahead, you lower the speed, let's say 40, 35, so that way you don't uh, increase the speed going down or you maintain the speed going down.
Because if you go in 50 or 60 and then you want to lower the speed to 45 or 35, when you are going downhill, it's going to be impossible. And if you do, something like this is going to happen. This is just an advice for all of you guys because I know it's very hard to maintain these machines. You guys are owners, owner operators, I know for sure that you take care of your truck because you know how much money you have to put on the trucks to keep on running. So drivers usually, it's not like they don't care, it's just simply then sometimes they don't have the time and they want to go the fastest or simply they don't have no, they have no experience and you know, there is always a mistake, Some, always happens something. But uh, if you are a person that cares about equipment and cares about working and cares about machines, like keeping machines in a good condition to prevent accidents and prevent any problems, pay attention to the speed when you're going downhill. Because if you don't, your engine is gonna be destroyed or you can have a big accident. But uh, this is all I'm going to say about this because uh, because this is a basic problem that happens all the time in many different states, in many different countries because there is always new drivers, there is always uh, a problems over the road like for example you're going downhill and uh, you encounter traffic or something you want to stop and you do whatever and yeah, by accident you did something like this, well, it happens. But anyway, uh, if you have any experience with problems like this, just comment below. Any experience about engines and engines having problems with connecting rods because they were going over the speed, down, going downhill, just comment below because there is always good information coming from you guys. And the comment section is a good way to share that information. Just do that and if for any reason you this happened to you, like, you ever did this like you destroy your engine or destroy someone else's engine just comment just comment below and let people know how it happened so that way people understand what mistakes not to make so uh this is all you want to subscribe to the channel go ahead uh, you help me a lot with that just watching the videos is enough but subscribing is better that way i can continue making more videos informative about these machines that are very expensive to maintain and uh, if you have any anything else to say, you know, comment section below is always good to, for everything, good or bad. Go to Instagram if you're gonna see me, Francisco Maya YouTube. There is always something that I'm doing there. Other things besides YouTube, there is always something to see differently about me there. Um, and as always, subscribe, share it, like the video. Thank you for watching.